Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review. I'm here today to talk about Black History Month. The month that is a celebration of my people. Because I am a black man and everything. And it's about all our accomplishments. Um, all the oppression that we have gone through over like centuries um, of living in like America and stuff like that. And even till this day, we are still being oppressed. And so I'm here today to talk to you about certain characters or TV shows or episodes that revolve around Black History Month that I personally enjoy. So I'm here today to talk to you about Power Rangers Operation Overdrive Episode 1 Gets Away. So this is a somewhat of a Will focused episode. I've held off on talking about Will in my Black History Month videos only because of the allegations that surrounds the actual actor that plays him. Um, I really don't feel like getting into detail about that. I've talked about that before, but basically it was just like well, my videos. I just want to do like a celebration of Black History Month. And if what he did is true, which technically he did take the bear on um, the banner for charity, then like that's in my opinion, just nothing to celebrate about. Um, a decade later, he has now given his side of the story a decade later, and it's just kind of like, dude, after those allegations, how you gonna like give your side of the story a decade later? So it's one of those things that's up in the air of whether or not he's telling the truth or whether or not somebody else is telling the truth. But like I said before, um, the only people who can like put this to rest are the people that was like with him that he mentioned and they can say right now it actually happened or not but it's just kind of weird i mean come on if you get accused of something like stealing from charity you think you would like give your side the story then and there and like a year later and a month later and two years later not a whole like 10 years later you know so it's just kind of one of those iffy kind of things I mean, I have no idea if what he's saying is true or not, but it's just kind of like, come on now, like a decade later, you don't wait that long to try to clear your name. So I don't know. But then I started thinking to myself, you know, what well, is this supposed to be a celebration of black people and Will is a black superhero. And so I can distinguish, you know, the character from like the person. But then it's ironic because the character himself is a thief. So it's kind of hard to kind of like distinguish between like the two <laughs> because one's like a, a former thief and um, one is a, an alleged one where technically he did take the banner, he said, but he said he took it for different reasons. But who knows? Who knows? You know what I'm saying? I mean, like I said, there's only like a group of people that can like put this to rest and everything and they're staying silent. So whatever you know so anyways this episode we see the rangers they're at a beach and so it's a very lovely beach too and that is a beach in new zealand and i gotta say that's a really nice looking beach and they're looking for one of the crowds of the um the jewels of the corona crown thing or whatever they're looking for now a lot of people don't like operation overdrive i actually really like it i love this whole relic hunter um type like um story vibe that they have to this season the theme of the season because you know not every ranger like season can be like the same thing like back in the fox kids days in the earlier days like with my morphin alien and zeo they just pretty much had the same thing just like teenagers who fight like bad guys like that was just it and they went to high school and turbo was kind of the same thing but then within space it started to like change and everything and so like you know you have to have something different to like you know um keep people interested and so this whole theme of like finding jewels and stuff was like really cool the action is really great the power ranger suits are really good their morphers are great the um individual like um suits that they would on black suits that they wear are like amazing my only problem with this is the humor. This is when Disney started getting a little too goofy with like the humor. I hate that little Yeti thing. I like the villains, but I don't like that Yeti thing. Also, there was a bit of overacting in like um, this season 
that made little people kind of go like, eh, you know what I'm saying? This was kind of like the, that start of like the downward spiral of like the Disney era. So I get that. But other than that, I think it's a really good season and people shouldn't really dump on it as much as they do. But people really hate this season, but I like it. However, it's a very short season. It's only like 32 episodes, which is very short. And so, like, they're at the beach, and three of the rangers, they go down in the water in their suits to go get it, and the other three are staying by. There is a monster attack. See, the fear cats have launched, like, a mega sword attack on the city because Motor gave them a scroll to a location of, like, this super armor. And so they want that to put on their megazord. And so, like... All the rangers are kind of like, you know, well, we shouldn't take the jewel with us to, like, you know, um, in the Zora fight because they might steal it. So, what happens? Uh, Will decides he's going to keep the jewel and take it back to headquarters. Well, he gets attacked by um, Meritrix and, um, what's the, Candor. So, he morphs in there thing. It's a really great, like, fight scene. And then he calls on his hover tech cycle. I really love his hover tech cycle. It's great. So then, you know, with two against one, he tries to up the ante by calling on the Defender Vest. And I love the Defender Vest. It's a cool thing. I first assumed it was the Battleizer, but it's not. <laughs> and any Ranger can use it. And it pretty much gives you, like, it, you're invulnerable. Like, anything hits you, it bounces right off. But still, at some point, he does lose, and he loses one of the crown jewels and stuff. So, because of this, he is upset with himself and he is doubting himself to the point where he wants to resign as like a ranger. And um, I forget the dude's name. I think it's Mr. Turner. The, the, the mentor dude who created all this stuff, who tapped into the morphing grid and created the power and just stuff. For some reason, he's just like, fine, like quitting everything. And he took his like morpher and it's just kind of, he just walks off. And I'm just like, dude, like he makes one mistake and like you punish him for that. But Spencer, the butler, who's kind of like the Alfred figure, he talks to Will and gives him words of encouragement to stick it out and still be a ranger. You just can't quit because you made like a mistake. And that's all any of us can do. When you make a mistake, you have to correct your mistake. And so he gives him back his more friend. He stays the Power Ranger. So then when the Rangers are like fighting the um, Megazord, it's a losing battle until Tizon comes in with his Zord. And um, the Fear Cats are no match for him. I love Tizon's suit. It is one of the best looking Silver Ranger suits ever. It actually looks silver. Even though he's the Mercury Ranger, but he actually looks shiny and everything. And so, like, Will, who's on the outside, he attaches himself to the Fear Cats Megazord to follow them. And so, like, even though they don't have the jewel, but for some reason he follows them. And so when he follows them, they are looking for that um, armor because they have like the scroll. Will sets up a very elaborate trap with like ropes and bamboo sticks and stuff. And he steals the um, map. So he goes looking for the thing. Well, sadly, he ends up leading them to where the armor is. And so they steal that from him. And so... Um, now they have like the special armor they can attach to the Megazord. The other rangers show up, they get into the Zords, and they fight the um, Megazord, the Fear Cats in it. Now, at this point in time, Spencer is really laying it in to um, Max's dad, mentor dude, telling him that, you know, Will made a mistake, he let something get um, stolen. But, you know, you let the crown itself get stolen in the very first episode. And he's all like, well, that's not the same thing. Well, it is the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can't punish Will for something the same thing you did. You know, accidents just happen. And then he gave him a speech about when um, that dude was 10 years old, the mentor dude, playing baseball. And he was losing and he threw his glove in, like, the trash. Spencer gave him the glove back, took him back to... Uh, like practice or the game but then it was mr turner that actually 
had the willpower to not want to quit and everything. And so after that, he sees the error in his ways and he wants to give Will back his morpher. <laughs> well, Spencer already did that for him. I mean, when in life, when things are hard. And like, you know, like I remember like in school, like math class, God, I hate math class. Like it used to keep me up all night until uh, I would do it, but I would keep on doing it until like I got it right. Cause you don't want to get like no bad grade, you know what I'm saying? And stuff. And you know, so like, it's hard, but you just can't quit. You just gotta keep at it and stuff. Same thing with electronic stuff or like fixing stuff around the house. It's like, it's hard, but you gotta keep on trying and stuff. And so when the Rangers fighting in the Zords, it's a huge battle. I love the way these Zords look. They are big, they're bulky. They have kind of like this construction site type theme to them. And they don't look like Lego figures at all. They look like your classic good old fashioned Zords. And so, but the armor, the super armor is too much for them. It's like a samurai type of armor. And so like the Rangers are getting their butts kicked. So Will has the, the brilliant idea of separating the Zords and just taking to them individually and surrounding them. It works to where they decide they're gonna um, recombine the Zords, but with different arms. So. They have a lot of Zords in this season. A lot. They have their regular Zords, and then they have like their additional Zords, and then they have Tizon Zords. And so with the combinations, it gives them the extra strength that they need to where the Fear Cats over like use their Megazord power and it runs too hot. And so the Rangers end up stealing the armor back. And so the fear cats, they just like cower away. Now, even though they didn't get the jewel back, at least they got the armor back. And so sadly, now Kandor still has the jewel. The Rangers, they have two jewels and um, Motor, I don't know how many he has, but Furio has like nothing, but he has like um, something up his sleeve. And that comes in like the next episode, which is once a ranger, which is interesting because Spencer gives the advice to Will that once a ranger, always a ranger, and you must never give up and you can't quit being a ranger, which is such a foreshadowing because in the next episode is the whole once a ranger thing. <laughs> and you know, I gotta say the action in this episode was amazing. Like the fear cats and will because will fights the fear cats by himself at one point and so there's like a huge blaster fight and this is back when they use sparks on the chest with like cgi but it was good sparks but then they, when the blasters were like shooting back and forth at each other the huge explosion sparks would happen by their feet now those were real this is back when the explosions were like 20 feet tall in the air <laughs> a lot of fans don't like that i love it I love it. Like, come on, if you're a power engine and you have all this power, you, you're gonna be some big explosions. I don't know why fans didn't like that. I guess because of the whole Michael Bay thing kind of turned them off with his huge like explosions and stuff. But I, I miss those explosions so badly. And you know, like I said before, a lot of people don't like this season, but come on, it's a million times better than anything Nickelodeon has done. So yeah. Now, as for Will himself as a Power Ranger, he is very unique because, okay, he's second in command. That's not unique there. However, what's unique about him is that he is a former criminal, a former thief. And after, like, you know, getting busted and stuff like that, he turned himself around and he works for, like, security companies and stuff. And that what attracted um, Max's dad to, like, you know, will and everything because he needed to steal a bunch of like jewels and stuff like that and they had like a bunch of booby traps and he'll be like really excellent at that in which he is the thing about will is i've never particularly liked his character only because of how cocky he is like he thinks he's all that however when push come to shove he is there ready to fight for the good fight and that's always a good thing about him and he does end up messing up like a, a bit in this show and he's always one of the main people who's like a go-getter to like correct his wrongs you know there's been like he actually has a fair good couple of, not necessarily solo episodes but 
if they're not solo, then they're combined with like somebody else. And you know, and he's always there to help save and rescue people like Ronnie when she was like captured by like the fear cats. And there's this one episode originally I was gonna talk about where he's pretending to go back to his old ways and be a thief and he he works with mirror tracks and stuff. But this was just a ruse so that he can like steal one of the jewels and stuff. And, you know, one of the interesting thing about him, he is the second black character to actually wear a black Power Ranger suit. This was a forbidden no-no in Power Rangers after the first um, series because Zack was the first one who was black and he, wore, he was the Black Ranger. And people saw that as racist because, you know, in the first season of Power Rangers, they put the black dude in the black suit and the Asian girl in the yellow suit. And so people's all like, you know, that's more than just a coincidence. Y'all did that on purpose and stuff. And so because of that, no other Asian person was allowed to be a yellow ranger and no other black person was allowed to be a black ranger until this season, ironically. And they never um, talked about it or explained it or like nothing like that. And so, and then even in the Power Rangers movie, they made Zack Asian so he wouldn't have to be the black ranger and they made Trini Hispanic so she wouldn't have to be like the yellow ranger. And also because the true, true original Trini from the unaired pilot is Hispanic. Now, there's also another foreshadowing in this. Spencer tells um, Max's dad that, you know, I've kept her like biggest secret of them all. And of course, that has to do with Max himself because there's a little secret going on with Max. Because, you know, um... If I ever do talk about this season, I'll explain it then. I don't really want to spoil it, but just know that there is a huge secret going on with him. Happy Black History Month, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye.